Hello, I'm Dr. Chin. Today, we will focus on axillary vessels. We will go over scanning and positioning. Before start the scan, do you know where to place the probe? We can place the probe in the middle of the clavicle. I recommend a scan vertically aligning to the clavicle. When moving the probe, it is recommended to scan with the clavicle facing on the lateral side. The depth of the probe can be adjusted from 3 to 5 centimeters. If the patient's body shape is more muscular, you can then adjust the depth to deeper centimeters. Let's choose vascular preset to start. On the left side of the screen, you can see a higher shadow. That is the clavicle, bone structure will appear in shadow. Start scanning the probe to the lateral side. An anechoic structure will appear in the screen. This is the subclavian vein. Now let's continue to move lateral a little bit more. You can see that there is a small structure on the top. This is the cephalic vein. Continue to move the probe outward a little. The structure is separated and becomes a cephalic vein. The lower part is the axillary vein. You can keep scanning away from the midline. Another anechoic structure will appear. This is the axillary artery. You can scan all plane in this position. We're in plane long the axis scan to observe the axillary vein performance. If you want to perform CVC insertion, check in the middle of the screen. We can see a higher echogenicity structure. This is the pleura. Now back to the screen on the right side. There is a shadow, which is the second rib. It is important to know before you place an insertion. You should try to scan this axillary vein on the top. Before you start the all-plane biopsy, this will help you reduce the risk of puncture to pneumothorax. If you want to do in-plane biopsy, you can then rotate the probe back to transverse and scan towards the suprasternal notch. Scan up and down to see if you need to make an adjustment and to double confirm whether we're scanning axillary vein or axillary artery. In the middle of the screen, we can see the axillary artery. It has a position, the diameters didn't really change. We can try to tilt the probe a little on its angle. It'll help us see a clearer structure. This structure is showing some variation. There is a cephalic vein on the top with a separation. This is the axillary vein. This is where we can place position of central venous axis. I hope this is helpful for your practice. That's all for today's tutorial. Stay tuned for the upcoming videos.